Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. Thanks so much for stopping over at my channel. Check out my video. Hope you're all doing well and having a great day. I don't do too many haul videos, um, but I every so often I, I have gathered up some items that I wanted to get for myself or needed to get and I like to share. I'm going to leave my Amazon affiliate links for all of these items down below. And I appreciate so much if you'd shop through my links. In case you don't know about the affiliate links, it's a great way to support those people that you um, like watching all the time. Helps us with a few cents of commission on anything you buy and you don't pay more. So it's very helpful. And if you like any of these things, please go shopping through my links. I'd appreciate it. Now, I sell Graphic 45 in my little store, but it is a little store. And I am just one little person running the business. So if I order stuff, I have to pay hundreds of dollars. I have to get two, three, whatever amount of them. And I have to pay for the shipping. And I have been waiting for Graphic 45 to come out with their next um, collections. But this floral uh, is just so beautiful. I wanted to order one 12 by 12 for myself. It is. It does not have all the cutouts like the other ones do it is just all about the flowers and the colors are so beautiful I'm not going to show you close up like I do with heartfelt so I can get on to other things besides the paper but I really just wanted to be able to have these flowers to just completely cover things with I thought they were so beautiful and so I ordered myself a pack of the 12 by 12s so that I could play with these they're just gorgeous colors plain as far as no cutouts on them and this particular grouping does come with isn't that isn't that pink beautiful beautiful flourish um does come with the sticker pack so you get these lovely stickers with it it all comes together with the sheets and the stickers so i'll leave that so you have pretty things underneath to look at to show you the next thing which i have chosen to invest in chameleon markers. They're not the same as Copics. They're alcohol ink markers. And I actually got this through Dick Blick, but it came through my Amazon. I'm not quite sure how that works. So I'm just going to try to find this because this is interesting. I had originally purchased the 24 pack and they had a pack that would complete the collection for me and this box is really sturdy and it has a strap so that you can and you can change the length of the strap you can carry it around in your on your shoulder while you're doing other things with your hands and what this was was somewhat empty so I could fit the 24 I already had and complete my set with the rest so I didn't have to pay for the whole set. So they come in 24, I think it is, packs, which always comes with a black and um, an alcohol only, so they can do your blending. And they come with the um, half or partially empty and this lovely box, which is great, or you can buy the whole thing at once. It's much less expensive compared to investing in Copics, but it is a different method. And this box is neat because this flap right here allows you to flip it under and then it'll sit like this on your counter or your, your workspace. Or you can leave it like that if you'd like. Or you can stand it up and slip that other cover on. And I'll leave it this way so you can see the colors. Um, that other cover on it so that you can use the strap and carry it around. So, the way that the chameleons work, it does take some practice and some technique, but I think it's worth it because I think it's a beautiful uh, result once you get used to it. So these break apart. In here is just alcohol, and on the other side, the part that has the color, you hold them together, the alcohol goes into the tip, and then as you color, you go from light to darker to darkest, okay? So each marker actually does do many, many tones, many, many shades of the color. And they take a little practice, but I like them. I like the fact that I'm not gonna have to spend years collecting the Copics. They have refills and stuff. 
and I'm starting to get pretty good at doing this. Now what they do have to go with it are these little packs. So I picked myself up Color Tops, a little pack of the Color Tops. And what they do is, if I can get this opened, <clears throat> so there's your Color Tops. Now they come in here, but these are individual, just the color. So with this, instead of the alcohol inside, you actually have the color inside. And so you pair them up with whatever one you want to work, like you do when you put the blending solution or alcohol solution in. You pair them up like this, and it will start off with this color, and then turn into that color. So in other words, thousands of different color combinations are possible by using these little color tops and they have a few different collections of those so I invested in of course the pinks and this lovely lavender so I'm psyched about that because I want to try doing some blending with those and I am happy with the chameleons they take a little bit more effort in learning and getting used to how you have to flip them back and forth but I enjoy them so there's that. I also wanted to get into a little bit of foiling and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on any particular machine. This is a very good price point and it's fairly sturdy. It does 9 by 12s although they have a larger one. It's by Scotch and it's very compact and portable. So if you look on the other side, there's a handle here so that you can just pick it up and carry it. So I actually have it standing like this in the craft room because it takes up very little space. You can just stand it up on the top or the bottom sides. And there are a couple different levels. And when you're going to use it, you just pull the back out and lay your, your back part down like this. So I really like the compact version, um, not just because the price point is good, but I'm going to trust that scotch is going to work well for me for the amount of foiling I'll probably start out with. And I'm liking the fact I can clear it off the table, but just grab that handle and take it wherever I want. So I'll probably do some foiling and show you that at some point. And another thing that I needed was some way to trace, because I want to get into more drawing and creating designs myself. Now I've already opened this. It came in this nice soft stuff and the corners were all protected with that foam and it also comes with the cord that you can use to plug it into the computer so that you can charge it or light it up from the computer and a couple of clips and then just take all that stuff away and show you basically what this is is a little light board okay so this whole thing lights up and I'm told this has different degrees. I'm going to try all these things out and get back to you. But it's really interesting. Look how thin it is. And it is so lightweight. It's like a couple of pieces of paper. Um, it, this is going to be easy to carry around with me as long as you have something protective to put it in. And you just plug it into your computer while you're working. The thing lights up. So um, I want to work more with parchment paper and clarity stamps. Um, groovy plates and stuff and I want to draw pictures and then put my picture on the bottom while I trace it on the final paper that I'm going to work on. Um, if I'm doing the bead work, the new bead stuff that's out, the diamond beads, you can use it for that. And so I never had a light thing. It's better than holding things up at the window and this thing is like, it's like thinner, lighter than a clipboard. Um, and I've seen a few people use it, so I'm really happy to have that, and I'm looking forward to making some things with that. I also recently saw a video somebody did where they had light-up cards. And so I looked online and learned a little bit about these chibi lights, which actually have the circuits right here. I don't know if you've seen them before, but I hadn't seen this particular thing before. And apparently I have to learn how to put my little copper tape on so I can, but I was picturing, um, Heartfelt has this really sweet lamp in the festive holly Christmas papers from last year. I was thinking I should make a card where I can actually light up the lamps. And if it works well, 
then I might start doing that quite a bit and start showing you how to do the circuitry for that. What do you think of that? Um, yeah, so I just got myself the smallest pack, but they have all kinds. And again, I'm going to leave the Amazon links down below for all of these things. I also needed some um, different color embossing powders. You know, I have my basic gold, silver, etc. But I didn't have any clear. And you need clear when you don't have the right color. So in the, instead of buying 3,000 different colors, then you get the clear and then whatever your ink color is underneath shows through. And again, I know I sell Ranger products, but I would have had to buy three of each of these and I just wanted one of each for myself. And so I'm just going to go through my affiliate link to share with you. So this is Fern Green. I need to focus more on the leaves. It's wonderful to have all the flowers that I make, but then you need the things to put the flowers on in the backgrounds and so I didn't have anything except a dark green Christmas sparkle green. I'm going to start collecting a few greens and this is Wendy Vecchi. Um, that's her line of colors from Ranger and I also picked up her pink peony which is a really light gentle beautiful pink and I got this wow primary lagoon what a gorgeous blue that is. I needed a plain old blue. And I also picked up, because I would like to make a few journals and paper pads and things like that. So this is one millimeter of the stretch cord. And I, I think I could have gone a little bit thicker with it. But you get a whole roll for a decent price. And you can also, always just um, double up your thicknesses and do two of the elastics together and change your amount so it's almost like you know you can't go wrong with that so this was fun I um I enjoyed getting all these things I won't throw the big chameleon markers back up on the table for you but I'm excited about playing with this paper I'm I am really liking my chameleon markers and I'm so psyched to have the light board so I can make my own designs of things and trace things and I'm looking forward to figuring out how to be more foil friendly. I know it's been out for a while, but I haven't really gotten into it. So thank you so much. If you would like any of these things, you can check the links out below and they'll bring you directly to the spot where you can purchase them. And I so thank you for the support. I have an idea of what I would like you to write down below. If you have a chance to comment and don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if it was an okay haul uh, video. Um, why don't you tell me what you would like to see from Amazon. So if there's some things you've been thinking about getting, let me know. And if I need them, I'll get them and share them with you. So I'll put up more Amazon crafty hauls if uh, I feel that you have a need or I need some products. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I like watching these things. I like seeing them in people's hands and hearing what people think about them and why they purchased them. So, till next time, everybody, this is Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. Thanks so much for hanging in there. God bless.